it's a hot air balloon. So we've just arrived and when we checked in, they've upgraded us to a giraffe room. I think we had just a basic room, but they've upgraded us to a giraffe room. It's so cool. For 70 quid, I was apprehensive whether to come because we're literally coming to swim, sleep and then go home. Breakfast is included as well, but it's an hour and a half away with two kids, but thankfully they both slept on the way. But yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with it and the way she upgraded us straight away when we got to the... Um, check in also having a look at the kettle you know the minor little things in life but they know how to descale a kettle that is what I'm talking about it's annoying we've missed the theme park situation that opens in two days but I don't think we would have been able to do that really with Rupert and Fred anyway but it's so beautiful like for 70 pounds I can't believe we've got it we've got a massive view of all of these animals look I don't know whether you can see but there's like Zebras, giraffes, lemurs, all sorts. So we can, we've got access to that and the swimming pool. So I think we're going to go swimming now and then dinner. And then before we leave in the morning, we'll probably just do the animals. But yeah, so beautiful and so good. What do you think, Rupert? Do you like it, Rupert? You can't climb out the window, buddy. Fred, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah? We're going to go swimming, Rupert? Yeah. Rupert, want to go swimming? On the slides? Yeah. I think he wants to jump out the window instead. But yeah, we're going to go swimming. Oh. I don't know how much of that you can film. Yeah, yeah what's out there? But yeah, we're going to go do a bit of swimming. So we got in from swimming on the videos and stuff it looks like it's a lot bigger than what it actually was when we got down there oh hi fred what's he eating I don't know. Oh, God. so yeah we went swimming rupert absolutely loved it but because it was so small when it was time to get out he screamed the whole place down and everybody stared at us which was quite embarrassing fred didn't like it at all so i had to get out straight away with fred then we wanted to go they've got two different restaurants here one of them is an all you can eat and it's 20 pounds like per adult and under 12 year olds eat free uh-huh yeah um yeah so under 12 seat free when you come and stay here and it's 20 pounds per adult all inclusive but because it's not booked up enough that restaurant wasn't open so the only restaurant that was open was one where you pay as you eat sort of thing and you pick and choose what you want but it was something like 15 pounds for a burger and chips so it was just ridiculous because we'd have to pay for rupert as well because the cafe isn't under 12 is all you can eat so basically long story short the only cafe that is open it would have cost us about 70 pounds with food and drink so we decided to go to the shops around this area so i don't know whether we're near london or some big city but it was absolute chaos it took us an hour and a half to do a 15 minute shop like the shop was 15 minutes away from chessington absolute nightmare anyway it is now half past seven. We've just got back to the room. 
<clears throat> we're eating our Tesco stuff and just chilling out really. It's really cool. You can see all of the zebras. I'm going to show you quickly. <clears throat> all of the zebras and like animals and stuff out the window. So the boys are just, let me just show you. So you can see all of the animals from our bedroom window, which is what we got upgraded. What did I say? Just said animals. Buttons. Animals. Oh, zebras. They've got zebras, ducks. Duck. Duck. Yes, darling, duck. Like antelope, gazelle things. Antelope things. Oh, look at that big giraffe over there. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, so this is what our view is like. And obviously the boys are really enjoying it. But as I said, it's a lot more hard to work than I thought. As we were walking, as we were driving to the shop, I said to Stuart, you know, these things are a lovely idea to do, but I think when the kids get that little bit bigger so that they understand, because it's been a nightmare packing everything and then tomorrow, just, it's not even been 24 hours and we have to go back again. And I know that neither of them are going to sleep, not that they sleep at home, but at least it's our own bed and stuff. So yeah, I think we've decided that we're going to put off going to like Chesterton and Peppa Pig World and stuff like that, because it's just not worth it, especially if it's overnight. Um, but yeah, so I think we're gonna have some food, watch a bit of telly and hopefully get the boys to sleep. Oh, it's gonna be another long night. It's only half seven and I'm yawning already. But yeah, I will do a little film of breakfast in the morning. So if you did want to come here and say, you will see what the story is. But yeah, so far we've got what we've paid for in that respect. It was 69 pounds and that was to stay here, use the swimming pool and have breakfast in the morning. So, so far we've got what we paid for. So yeah, it's been nice, but um, we'll be leaving after breakfast. But yeah, I'll film breakfast in the morning and um, yes. Good morning. So I feel like we haven't even been to sleep yet, but I feel like that most days. Rupert finally passed out at about 9.45, but Stu says he does the same every single night for the past, like, week. Do you want to get down, Fred? Duck. Duck, yes, darling. Rupert's telling me all the animals that are outside. So, yeah, Rupert went down at about 9.45 and obviously slept through till this morning. He passed out on our bed there. And Fred... And Fred, I had to walk around the park for about half an hour, like up and down the hallways and stuff for him to get to sleep. He finally went to sleep, I think it was about eight or maybe half seven, half seven or eight. And then he woke up every sort of two hours. There's something going on or something's going wrong. I don't know what it is. And just as I say that one magpie lands outside. Great. But yeah, no, we're going to go down for breakfast now. And I just can't wait to have a normal night's sleep. Literally, we have like from three o'clock in the morning till sort of six thirty is a block sleep that we get, and that's it. And I feel like I've got a newborn again, but I haven't. He's not a newborn; he's huge. But yeah, we're gonna go down to breakfast now, anyway. we're back now I'm not gonna say we had an amazing time because as I said when I start this channel I'm gonna be truthful it was a bit of a nightmare I'm not gonna go into it because you don't want to hear that and if you're having a nice day I don't want to ruin it but we are back now thank god and I am exhausted I've had four hours sleep the boys are just playing in their room and I'm gonna get cleaning obviously do loads of washing and putting the bedding back on and stuff like that but yes if you want to go I will put the description in the box the advice that i would give is go with older children i think me and stuart have maybe to a degree learned our lesson other than the fact we're going to barcelona in a month but other after barcelona i don't think we're going to be going or doing any trips until the boys are older and yeah i'll put the link in the description of the deal that i got if it's still on if not the um link to chessington because it is a lovely little place if your kids are a bit older but obviously mine are still too little so we're gonna do a bit of cleaning and a bit of chilling hopefully please hope that they both have naps so i can have a nap because i'm so tired 
But I found, I can't remember when it was, but in my life, I read somewhere that in Chinese medicine, if you're in a bit of a 2 and a or you're a bit fed up or down, you should either clean or move. It's, I think it's something like 52 items you've got to move. But when I'm in a 2 and a, I like to move things around. So it just looks a bit fresher and a bit cleaner. Along with that, I like to get new cleaning products. So I'm gonna do all the washing and stuff like that, have a bit of lunch, and then maybe pop up the shops, get some cleaning stuff, and then, Hopefully if they have a nap, I could do a bit of cleaning or have a nap with them. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. As I said, link's in the description. Hope you're having a wonderful time and day and I will see you soon. The next video will probably be either the one challenge at cleaning in the lounge or it will be a routine video because I know a couple of my friends need that help too and I, I really need that help with a routine because we have not got one at all at the minute and I love a routine. So yeah, that's what the next video is coming up will be and I will see you soon. Bye!